Let's look at the new FX modulator plugin that's part of Cubase Pro 12. This is a wonderfully creative tool for working with different envelopes, LFOs, or curves. So we have 14 different effects that could be loaded into six independent modules. To load an effect into a module, double click. We could select another module, double click to add the effect. And to remove the effect, what we want to do is click in the upper right hand corner and we could it'll be asked if we want to remove and click on the check and then that effect will be removed when we have musical tracks that may benefit from more interesting processing such as our pad sound here let's say it's pretty static if we wanted to be able to adjust our volume repeatedly without having to automate we could use a tool like this so i'm going to double click to enter a new node and we could set the amount of time that this will take place. So what we see visually here could be 16 measures or down to a dotted 30 second note. So I'm gonna set this to one measure. So within one measure, this volume will continually change this way. So as we play and we listen to our synth pad, Now, if I wanted to come over here, add a new node, double click. If I wanted to select a number of nodes, I can now move those, make it louder or softer. Or if I hold down the Alt or Option key, we could compress and expand. And if I wanted to adjust the, the curve between two different points, all I had to do is hold down the Shift key and then we could draw in different S-shaped curves. The program also gives us the ability of having different random curves generated. And if I wanted to shift these curves to the left or to the right, we could flip them vertically, flip them horizontally. And if I really like a particular curve, I could come over here and save it in my user banks as presets. If I wanted to just take all of the curves that we're working with, I could say we have our different preset curves. So if I double click, we could add a preset curve. So if I wanted to add a preset curve where two beats are on and two are off, I could do that. But if I wanted just a range to also have another preset curve, I could select a range and double click and say in this range, I wanted to set a curve like that. And if I don't like what I just did, the plugin even has levels of undo. So let's say we want to have two beats on, two beats off volume wise. And if I wanted to change the rhythmic value of that, I could just duplicate that curve by clicking on this button. So now I could create kind of like a stutter effect, like staccato. And if I don't want that to be as kind of harsh sounding, I could smooth it out with the smooth control. If I click on the filter bank, we could also just pick particular frequencies that will be doing the processing. So anything outside of these frequencies won't be doing this volume curve. It's only those particular frequencies. And if I want it to be for all frequencies, I could turn that off. Now let's add some additional modules. So I have this set for one measure, but let's say I wanted to add panning. And I want this curve, but I want this to be two measures. So over the course of two measures, we'll adjust our panning. And let's say we want to add width and I want to add the width for four measures on a curve that's like this. So at the end of the four measures, we'll have the width more spread out. And let's go ahead and add a different module, maybe just kind of change up the sound a bit like a flanger. So I'll just kind of raise the level of the flanger. And if we wanted to mute individual modules, we click in the upper left-hand corner. 
Or if we wanted to solo modules, we could click in the lower left-hand corner. So the other modules won't be heard. Now there's some additional functions for working with triggers. So we could have a trigger mode here. So I have a MIDI track and this MIDI track is routed to the output port of this particular plugin. So I'm gonna enable MIDI trigger on module number one. And as I click, now as soon as I play a MIDI note, that's when that module will be triggered. Now, since these are independent modules, they also have very flexible side chaining. So each of these modules can be side chained independently. So let's say I have a kick. And what I want to do now is go for side chain one and I want to add my side chain source. And then once we have module one selected, we're going to activate the side chain and say, we're going to key in from this side chain. And let's make our release a little longer. So we can see more of an accent. And let's say I have just like a little kind of bongo percussion part. I'll go to module number four and let's set up our side chain for module four. And we'll set this to bongo. And again, now we have module four selected. Let's come over here and set the side chain from so now you hear the flanger kind of change the sound as soon as the bongos are playing. So let's listen to this in context of our track. So we'll just say, and if we had this effect bypassed, we can see what the original sound was. And now the effect of the FX modulator. But if I wanted to kind of blend the original with what we've done here, we have this mix knob. So I kind of can have the original pad sound kind of filling in, and then I could add kind of the rhythmic and harmonic interest by combining those. Another typical use and maybe more simple use of this type of effect is gonna be creating kind of like ducking on bass. So here, if we had our bass part and we listen to our kick drum, and I wanted the kick drum to kind of stand out a little more, we could have a compressor that will automatically duck down. So we'll enable this and we'll hear the bass and usually you have to kind of set up a, a side chaining scenario for that, but it's very simple just using this tool here. So whether you want to do something very complex, or we could look at our effects modulator here and listen to that in context of the track, or very simple for just ducking a bass, you can see how the new capabilities of the FX modulator can really open the creative doors.